Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. First tonight, the sex scandal that's haunting the former cast and crew of one of our most successful TV programs. Hey Dad was a huge hit from 1987 until 1994, but behind the scenes at least one of the show's stars suffered horribly. Sarah Monaghan, who at age 10 played the youngest daughter Jenny, has said she was the victim of a sexual predator on set. I had heard um, something, but uh, um, I had no idea the extent of the monstering. I kind of thought about the show, actually. I thought, you know, everyone loves Hey Dad. And, um, yeah, I thought, well, here we go. And I feel sorry for her that uh, there was no one that she could feel she could turn to. Um, and isn't that always the case with children? You could be one of the, the, the people suspected of, of being involved in this. Yeah, that well, was one of my initial reactions as well, was I was thinking, well, the public might think this is me. I think whoever this person is, is was very clever in how they knew how to operate. Isn't this exciting? We're going to see Debbie on real life television. Yeah, so Everyone knows her as Jenny, job. the bubbly, bright-eyed girl from Hey Dad. But former child star Sarah Monaghan has been hiding a sinister secret. It's a bit of a surprise to hear all of this. So. Well, it's an upsetting thing. Um, you know, you, you would hope that a child would have uh, a support network and um, that that wouldn't happen. In a shocking interview with this week's Woman's Day, Sarah claims she was sexually abused on the very set of the show that made her a household name. This person used to sit me on his lap or tickle me, but then he started putting his arm around me and trying to do this reach around thing and grabbing me, or he'd just tickle me, but at the same time trying to fill me up. She was a very popular little girl and you know, all the guys loved her as much as the girls, you know, so she was always sitting on someone's knee or whatever. You know? Julie McGregor played ditzy secretary Betty, one of Hey Dad's most popular characters. But then the ants moved out to the kitchen and the slugs moved in. She remembers young Sarah as a happy-go-lucky girl. She's horrified by the gravity of the sex allegations. He was always there flashing me or trying to cop a feel. I quickly learnt never to be alone in private with him, especially after he started flashing me. Was there an opportunity on that set for these sorts of things to have gone on? I think this person chose their moment when there obviously wasn't anybody around. Do you know who this person is? No, I, I'm... I thought I had a feeling I might know, but I'm, I wouldn't know. I, I, I can only speculate, really. Um, well, Sarah used to, because she was so small and cute and everything as a kid, you know, everybody was always pulling her on, onto their lap. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's just, a, it was not something it would be, you wouldn't be looking for it mm. uh, to see if any sort of impropriety was going on at all. But, Co-star yeah. Chris Truswell played next door neighbour Nudge. He might buy it from watching television. In his I'm six out. years on the show, he says he never saw any inappropriate behaviour towards Sarah. Hey, with the right age. I mean, I suppose there are times when there may have only been Sarah who, or whoever backstage getting changed for the immediate scene for them. But, um, yeah, I, suppose, I mean, there are opportunities, I suppose. And, and lots of texts are around all the time too, um, you know. It's not fair. All the other kids get to... According to Sarah, the abuse escalated. She claims the man involved started exposing himself when the two were alone together. He came in and did this whole pants down into the ankles thing. He like full on dropped them. I've tried to block it out, but I remember the whole thing. It was hideous. From then on, as soon as I saw the pants were about to come down, I was out of there. When you're on a show like Hey Dad, you, you have to get changed really quickly Your before you're seen. So everybody intense. was always getting changed around the back anyway. So yeah. whether that's been kind of mistaken for flashing who knows in talking about her ordeal sarah's been careful not to name the man that she says abused her now there are about 30 male crew and three male cast members who worked on hey dad sarah's also concerned that by speaking out many of her former friends and colleagues will feel a shadow has been cast over them well, Sarah's allegations are very sad because it means the show that we enjoyed and we thought was a nice, simple, family-friendly show clearly had a very dark side. Entertainment reporter Peter Ford 
believes young Sarah would have been under a lot of pressure to keep the abuse secret. Well, the story becomes even sadder when you realise she was the breadwinner for the family. Her father had died, she basically was keeping the money coming in so Mum could look after the kids and therefore she didn't want to rock the boat. She didn't want to say anything to anyone because she was scared she'd lose the job. Even at nine, I was the breadwinner in the family so I couldn't tell anyone what this guy was doing. No one ever knew. It was always hush hush because he told me don't speak about it because if you speak about it you'll never work in this country again. It becomes a loss of power. The person feels very diminished, they feel they can't report this, that no one will believe them. According so to child psychologist Ian Wallace, it's a classic abuse scenario. A lot of people ask me questions about Hey Dad, but I've erased huge portions of my time on the show from my brain. I've literally blocked most of it out. And he's not surprised it's taken two decades for her to tell her story. Most people in that situation just block it as she's talked about. They block the thought of it, they block the memories of it just to cope at the time and not be disturbed at the time. But that's why it often comes out 20 or 30 years later because they can't block it for the rest of their life. I'm not going to be intimidated. I'm standing up to be counted. These days, Sarah has left her dark days on Hey Dad far behind. She set up a new life in the United States making television programs with her husband, Matt. We can take some relief in knowing that these days there are far more stringent rules in place about kids underage who are working on TV shows. And there are a lot of them these days. So there is a lot more protection in place. And clearly, when you read something like Sarah's story, you think, isn't that terrible that those sort of rules weren't in place all those years ago? Sarah's story has left some questions unanswered. Did she ever report what happened to the authorities? And if so, why hasn't her abuser been brought to justice? Well, of course you'd like to see justice done. What can you say? I mean, people get away with a lot, don't they? It worries me that, that this person is still out there and uh, um, I hope that they're not getting away with it again. It's a disturbing story and late today other people have come forward with their stories from the set of Hey Dad. We will be following up on this story.